boys and girls we finished the first lesson that is arrays and strings we have solved every one of the five problems now it's time to head on to the next lesson that is sorting here we're going to club the first two easy level problems together that's because it's not going to take very long to do at all let's start off with monk and nice strings monk and nice strings the gist of the problem is like this our input is first four that's the number of strings that will follow at each step we've got to perform a check so at step 1 the first string comes in how many strings are there before the first string that is a zero strings how many strings are less than a zero strings so the output will be zero when the second string comes in that is c how many strings are there before c that is one how many of those are less than c a is less than c so the output will be one when the third comes in d how many strings are there prior to d two strings that is these two a and c how many of these are less than d a and c both of them are less than d so the output will be two finally when b comes in there are going to be three strings that are before it a c and d and how many of those are less than b a is less than b c is not and d is not only a is less than b so the output will be one now try to solve it for yourselves and there's no need to come up with an overly complicated solution we're just going to solve it in the most intuitive way possible that's because it's just an easy level problem and we're just starting off with sorting so let's just solve it intuitively the way we're going to solve it is pretty straightforward what i explained just now will be converted into code first we're going to check all the strings before a and check how many of those are less than a that's naturally going to be zero then we're going to check all the strings before c that are less than c all the strings before d that are less than d and all the strings before b that are less than b let's start coding it out so first we're going to take the integer input that is n in other words 4 let's have a array s to store the strings now for i in range n there are going to be n strings that we have to accept so we're just going to say s dot append raw input so we taken one string at a time now what do we have to do we have to check all the strings before this string so we'll run a j loop for j in range it's going to go from 0 to i we don't have to mention 0 we just mention i and let's have a counter as well so count is going to be 0 now for j in range i what's the next condition we've got to check if that string is less than the current string so if arr or the rather that is s of j is less than the current string that is s of i then what do we do we simply increase our count finally after each iteration we've got to print our count as we can see if the input is 4 we've got four lines of outputs so we've got to print count after each input now we compile this and test this our samples have been passed and when we hit submit every test case has been accepted this is similar to how insertion sort works take the array 4312 first we are going to take a sub array of length 1 that is element 4 and compare it with the very next element let's assume by sorting it in ascending order so now 3 has to come before 4 so we move 3 to position 0 and 4 to position 1 now this sub array is sorted the sub array of length 2 when we bring the next element that is 1 into the picture all we have to do is figure out where to place it that's because the previous sub array is already sorted so do we place it before 3 do we place it between 4 and 3 or do we leave it as it is naturally we have to place it before 3 and now we get a sub array 1 3 4 a sub array of length 3 that is already sorted finally the last element comes in that is 2 and we rinse and repeat the exact same procedure where does 2 have to be placed 2 has to be placed between 1 and 3 so that's why we put it we push 3 and 4 up and we've got a sorted array we are also going to tackle the next easy level problem that is monk and suffix sort Now again I won't read the entire explanation I'll just explain what the problem means First we've got a string a a c b 
we've got to calculate all the suffices of the string. So first it's the string itself and suffice is basically where we remove one character at a time from the beginning. So AACB, now when we remove the first character, it's going to become ACB. Again, when we remove the first character, it's going to become CB. Again, when we remove the first character, it's going to become B. Now we've got to sort this. We've got to make sure it's in sorted order because right now it isn't. So after sorting it, this is what we get. AACB, ACB, B and CB. This number just tells us which of these strings we have to return. This is telling us to return the third string from the top. This is the first string. This is the second string and the third string is B. So all we do is return B as our result. I've already taken the input. Now let's assign an empty array. We're going to fill this with the strings. So for I in range, it's going to be the length of the string. That's how many substrings will be there. First, we put the string itself into array. So arr dot append s. Now what do we have to do? We have to delete the first character. We can do that by saying s equals s from one colon. What this means is look at every character from index one onwards. So in AACB, the second A is going to have an index of one. So we're effectively deleting the character with index zero every time. Now what do we do? We've got to sort that array. So we say arr dot sort. And finally, we simply print the nth character from the top. However, remember that these are zero indexed. They're not one indexed. So we can't just print arr of n. We've got to print arr of n minus one. When we're looking at three, we go to index two and print that value. Our sample has been passed. And once we hit submit, every test case has been accepted. But there's one thing we've got to be wary of every time we're coding. And that is whenever we're using predefined functions. So I know that arr.sort is going to take a time of n log n. I've done a little research and they use something called team sort. It's a really interesting algorithm that Python, that Java, and that a bunch of coding languages use as their default sorting mechanism. If you want to know about that, just leave your comments down below. But this takes a time of n log n, which is all right. But this function right here, right? This is called slicing. And this takes a time of O of n to execute. And since the whole thing is a for loop, it's going to take a time of O of n squared, where n is the length of the string. We're not talking about this n. Let's call it L instead. So this will take a time of O of L. This entire loop will take a time of O of L. So the total time will be O of L squared. We can bring this time down if we use a different coding language. If we use C instead, we can get that entire process down to a time of O of L. And that's because we're able to use pointers. Let's have a look at the C code. Now this whole part is essentially us taking the input. Here we're going to assign a pointer to str. str is the string itself, AACB. Our loop is going to perform the exact same thing. It's going to first store s into suffix of i. Suffix of i is going to be the array that holds all these strings. Following that, we're just going to do s plus equals one. This doesn't take any time. This takes a time of O of one. And since it's a pointer, right? What it does is it omits the first character every time it moves up. S initially points to the beginning of AACB. Now, since it's a pointer, when we move it up, the previous value gets forgotten. It doesn't remember what the previous value is. It's the same as a linked list. If we move the head up, then we don't remember what the previous value is. This helps us delete the first character in a time of O of one. And since it's in a for loop, the entire time is going to be simply O of L. Now I've used merge sort here. That also takes a time of O of N log N. If you want to know more about merge sort, you know what to do, but we're not going to discuss it in this video right here. And finally, we can print the N minus one string from the top. Once we hit compile and test, our sample has been passed and submit has been accepted as well. And in a complexity of O of N log N instead of N squared, it's n log n because merge sort takes n log n and we take the greater one of the two. n log n is greater than n. So guys, if you like the video, you know what to do. Three buttons will flash up here. We solved two easy level problems today and we're going to continue solving more and more code monk problems. We're going to finish the entire series. Make sure to leave your comments down below any new innovative solutions you have. And if you head on to the link, the coding link in the description, 
There's also a code explain discussion forum. You can go there and chat with similar minded people. So make sure to check that out and I'll see you all next time.